Good afternoon, um, and welcome to a, another Coffee with the Editor uh, meeting. Um, my name is Charles, Charles Brennan. I am the Editor-in-Chief of the International Journal of Food Science and Technology. And today I have the pleasure of being in Bangkok, in Thailand. And I've taken that opportunity to uh, visit one of my friends and, and colleagues uh, from Chiang Mai University, uh, Pongyan uh, Walter. Uh, to talk about her research um, about local food. And one of the reasons why I come here, and you know that now, um, is that I like oh, Thai food. And mm -hmm. in front of me, I've, I've got some mango sticky rice, which I'm going to devour in a minute or two after I've had my coffee. Um, but thank you very much for inviting me here. And, and thank you for um, the paper that was published in February, in February, about maybe eating more local Thai food, um, and we need to think about plant-based foods. Yes. So, wh why the title? What were you trying to do with the the paper? Oh, why the title? Yes. But first of all, thank you for having me oh. for this um coffee with editor session. Um, for for the question, uh, why this title? The direct question, uh, the di direct answer would be uh, trying to convey scientific into a, a wider audience. So I'm trying to make it catchy for people to um, decide to read uh, the article and understand it better. That the, uh, the message I'm trying to convey is that um, why Thai people decide to buy or to eat plant-based food mm -hmm. and what plant-based food is for them. And I, I come to Thailand and Southeast Asia and I look at the food that's on the markets, and, and yes, you have meat, but you have such a wide variety of plant-based foods as well. Yeah, that's why the term plant-based food among my participants, some of them are very confused and told me, and that's the reason why I named my article like this, is that when they heard the definition of plant-based food, they think, oh, that's actually Thai food. I already consumed that. I already had that have at that kind of food anyway in my daily life, and if like I'm doing this in the north of Thailand in Chiang Mai, right? I asked local people, and they already told me, uh, I already eat this, the steamed uh, or boiled vegetables dipped in the chili paste. We call it a uh, nam plik and nam, nam. nam plik is the chili paste, yeah, which which is made from chilies, garlic, or uh, other plant ingredients. Mm -hmm. So anything in some local food, they're already plant-based. So if that's why I convey this message. If you want to promote plant-based food, instead of promote this foreign term, which is they use this plant-based food in Thailand now, they don't really have the Thai local definition for it. I don't think so. Yeah, so instead of promoting plant-based food, I would say let's promote eating local food. And that comes to my interest as well, that I would like to explore more about being responsible uh, for eating food. And local food helps with their food mile. So how, how, how does local food help with, you know, the SDGs and in terms of, you know, food miles and, and other things? Is it really mm -hmm. beneficial? Well, um, if you talk about being responsible um, consumers, responsible consumption, SDG 12, that it will help with, um, of, of course, if you eat local food, that means lower food miles, lower, uh, lower emission of carbon footprint, and also um, helping with farmers, which also in line with other SDG missions as well, I believe, and also help um, promoting um, nutrition locally. So if, for example, Thai FDA mentioned that some kids becoming overweight yeah. among Thai consumers. So if we're trying to promote um, eating more fruits and vegetables, for example, that will help some other aspects of the being responsible. So you're looking at sustainability and, and food security. You're looking at the health aspects and, and the monetary aspects and but, the environment. Yeah, basically sustainability. Gosh, it, it sounds so complicated, but the title sounds really approachable. So. Mm. How are you going to take this on in terms of, of where where's this research leading? 
how are you going to make an impact in the community or what, how can you translate that globally? That's a very good question as well. So I already conveyed these um, findings yeah. uh, to a wider uh, audience. I already shared my findings with the Thai policymakers that they're going to um, have this information around Thailand uh, to make a good policy to promote plant-based food consumption. Okay, and and what was the response? Um, I think they picked up some key key points that I found good. from my work, and they have some ideas now what they're going to suggest the government in terms of plant based food consumption. And promotion. what what ideas do you have in terms of the next research to make it really impactful? How how are you going to then build on what you're developed here from this um yeah. article? Oh, uh, I think if I can come up with something real, really quick right now, I would like to compare with other uh, part of Thailand because okay. the particip participants that I selected in, the, in this article is based on in the north of Thailand. And because I'm not from the north of Thailand, I know there are some uh, differences in yeah. terms of consumer uh, perception about food, consumer attitudes on yeah, about food. Uh, just out of interest, did you find any difference in consumer perception between the ages of the consumers? So old people like me compared to young people like you, was there a, a difference? Yes, I found age is a big uh, factor. Um, for your age, more senior people think that <laughs> they already had lots of vegetables in their in their daily life, although that's what they claim. Uh, for young people, if they want to go out to eat something, they go out to the barbecue yes. grill to celebrate something or to just enjoy food in general. And that's become the thing in Thailand in the past, uh, let's say, 20 years. Mukata in Thai, which is the uh, grilled barbecue, right? Uh, so that's a huge different old can I say that word? Yeah, you can. <laughs> more, se more senior people. You they can don't call really... me a dinosaur. That's okay. Yeah. I accept. Yeah, they don't really do that, have that behavior yeah. when compared to the younger. And the younger people who are educated, they have some questions toward plant-based food because they, they link plant-based food with, they call it fake meat. Yes. So they know that in plant-based food, there are some food additives in it to make it look or feel or taste like meat. Mm -hmm. So some young consumers who are educated tend to just eat fruits and vegetables when yes. they want to eat plant-based food rather than food that try to imitate meat. I think that would be a really interesting project to go on and look at people's concept a perception and also the real reality the authentic aspect of whether or not these plant-based foods and meals are ultra processed foods and how we can avoid miscommunication mm. in in that response because yeah you know um communication is important so on on that basis you know if you were communicating to someone out there in the public and you had to give your message in let's say 10 seconds what will your main points be to the camera for instance about my about your paper 10 seconds about my paper yeah oh, <laughs> i thought me on spot <laughs> um eating more local food will help you being feel feel like you are responsible for the um, society and nature and environment. So if you want to feel like you consume responsibly, maybe you can start thinking about eating local food. It helps a lot. Thank you. Thank you very much, I Doctor. Think it's more than 10 seconds. No, that's okay. Thank, <laughs> thank you very much, Doctor Walter and and Pongjan. I think we've got um, coffee and we've got mango sticky rice and we've got cake and. Um, we can continue our conversation now. Uh, okay. But in the meantime, uh, thank you very much. There will be a link to this paper in the video um, at the bottom. And um, hopefully we will continue this series later on. But thank you very much. Thank you. Cheers. Cheers. <laughs>